I'm going to be going through the chemistry throwback week nine, which is on identifying reaction types. So before I get started on this, I just need you to know how to identify these different types. Uh, so it is basically the premise of this entire exercise, and I don't actually think it's terribly difficult. So what I've given you here is the general forms of these different reaction types. And so synthesis has element or compound plus element or compound yielding a compound. The big thing here with synthesis reactions is on the product side, we only have one product. Okay, so uh, anything else, uh, you know, this will, this will tell you whether it's a synthesis reaction or not. So look for something that just has one product and you should be good on that. The decomposition reaction is actually the opposite of that. So it's got a compound that's breaking down into different elements or compounds. And so the big thing here is we have only one reactant on that one. So you look for something, if it only has one reactant, then it is a decomposition reaction. For single displacement, we've got element plus compound. So like usually a metal coming in here, like copper or zinc or silver or something coming in, and it's making element plus compound. Uh, double displacement, we've got two compounds coming in. The metals in front usually are switching partners, okay, and we get two compounds in the end. And then the last one here is combustion. It has the form CXHYOZ, so that's just a hydrocarbon with maybe some oxygen mixed in. And then you add it to oxygen, it has carbon dioxide and water. The big thing here, these three things are always the same. So I think that makes combustion really, really easy to identify. Um, the other thing is, you know, this always has some hydrocarbon, CXHYOZ or something like that. And so looking for those things will help you figure out. I actually recommend that if you see something and you think that it looks like a single displacement reaction, you might double check and make sure that it's not combustion because combustion can kind of look like it's a single displacement reaction, um, but it's not, okay? So just be careful about that. Uh, so going in here to the problems, um, what we've got here is a compound plus a compound. This one is yielding a compound plus a compound. And so from your different forms there, you should recognize that this one is double displacement. All right, on to the next one. This first thing here is a compound plus a compound. It yields a compound plus a compound. So this is actually the same exact thing that we just had above. So the second one is also double displacement. Number three, magnesium here that is an element plus a compound, it's yielding an element plus a compound. Now I should say here, this could have the form compound plus element on either side, but it's just because, of, because we've got the commutative property of addition, you know, it doesn't matter what order they come in, it's just one element and one compound. It doesn't matter which order they come in, so element and compound on the reactant side, element and compound on the product side, and it is a single displacement reaction. Number four here, uh, looking through there, I see we've got oxygen as a product, we've got a hydrocarbon, it's carbon dioxide and water, so that should clue you off to see that this one is a combustion reaction. And as I said, I just kind of look at these three different things here, and then I look at the other thing and see that it's a hydrocarbon and say, hey, that's combustion. This next one, we've got just a compound on this side. Okay, it's breaking into a compound plus an element. If this is the case, uh, we've got just one reactant. That means that it is decomposition. Number six, on this one, I've got a compound plus an element yielding a compound plus an element. All right, so this one, single displacement, that's the form. Number seven, 
number seven, H2O um, plus SO3 yields H2SO4. Uh, on this one, it's, we've got compound plus compound yields compound. There's only one product here, so that means that it is synthesis. Last one, H2SO4 plus NH4OH yields H2O and NH42SO4. And so this one, we've got compound plus compound yields compound plus compound. This is a double displacement reaction. More specifically, this is an acid-base reaction, but we haven't gotten into that chapter yet, so uh, double displacement works. All right, that's that. Make sure that you ask me if you have any questions.